A rise in moped entries on campus is leading many to believe stricter safety regulations may be needed. Olivia Stanford has the story. Just one week ago, Tiana Fujimoto was riding her moped on Baratania Street when her tire got stuck in a rut and she crashed. We were going to dinner and then I went through like a pothole crack thing and I was wobbling and then it, I fell. It didn't really damage my moped because it fell on top of me, but the oil and gas came out and was on me. I have small scrapes on my moped and one of the mirror thing, the light things broke. It was Fujimoto herself who received the brunt of the blow. I have a scrape on my arm, a scrape on my rib, my wrist, my whole shin, and a, like a big one on my foot. And my ankle is kind of messed up from it. Lydia Battaglia, who was with Fujimoto and saw the incident occur, believes strongly in moped protection. I don't think it looks very good, but I think it's a, not a bad idea, like um, hel wearing helmets and stuff. I actually have to wear a helmet of some other thing, but I actually wear a helmet. And it's probably not pleasing to the eye, but in the end, I feel like I'm just much safer and feel like I'm not going to die if I fall off my moped. It's always a good thing. Hopefully, lawmakers will propose ideas to improve the currently low safety standards for moped riders. This is Olivia Stanford for UH News.